Hey everybody, Tim Coates here with Ethos Car Care. I'm in charge of product development and I want to do a quick little video discussing our Resist product uh, in more detail. I've seen some questions pop up online, um, some people talking about it. I wanted to go over some common questions we have, um, talk about the product a little bit more in depth while we made it and some of the process behind um, how you could use it and what it really is designed for. So um, Resist is really an interesting product. It's something we were working on for Oh gosh, uh, well over two years. Um, it actually took us 14 different iterations. So um, if you know this, if you've actually, if you have the product or if you look closely, it has a little number 14 here where the I is. Um, that's actually kind of a play on words. There's a couple of reasons we have that. Um, the main reason is that it's actually the 14th formulation. Um, we used many, had many trial and errors trying to get this to work right, um, to be a water-based formula that we found was really durable uh, while being really easy to use. Now that's a really hard, combination to find. You either have usually really good durability um, and poor usability or really good usability and poor durability to have a product that really bridges that gap is, is unique. And that's really what I wanted Resist to become. Um, in addition to having uh, ceramic components, graphene components, um, UV enhanced, uh, UV protection, as well as gloss enhancers and stuff in a water-based formula, I wanted to pack all those things into one product, um, which is really hard to do. So 14th uh, actually iteration was the magic number, it seems like, um, as well as the name Resist. We picked that for a couple different reasons. Um, when our testing, we found that when this product was applied to, to paint or to a vehicle, it seemed to really resist anything we put at it. Um, chemicals, uh, soap, bugs, bird droppings, all that stuff would just repel off the coating. So we thought Resist would be kind of a cool way to put it. Uh, the results are so good that you're not gonna be able to resist buying the product as well as its ability to resist contaminants or is kind of a cool plan of words. Um, plus, because it does have ceramic components, SI-14 is the pure element for silicon, which is, um, you know, component of silicon dioxide ceramic. Um, so it's just a plan of words, you know, kind of a, a general sense of really the thought and effort that went into the product. We wanted to help portray that in the label itself. Um, so like I said, kind of a brainchild of several years of hard work, trying to find a sprayable, water-based uh, ceramic and graphene uh, component uh, product that provided you with over six months of durability, great usability, uh, didn't smell horrible, didn't streak, didn't leave high spots behind that really made the surface super slick and super glossy that could be used as a standalone sealant, standalone uh, spray coating, or also as a coating rejuvenation coating topper. Now to pack all that stuff in one product, as I said before, is really difficult to do. And to make it a water-based product was also hard. So we originally found a way to do that with just ceramic. And this is about a year and a half into uh, the development process. We wanted it to also be compatible with our graphene uh, coating. So our graphene coating or graphene uh, resin actually is a solvent-based resin. So we had to find a very unique way in order to pack a solvent-based resin into a water-based product. Uh, we did that by basically formulating it with a surfactant that enabled it to not interfere or not react with the water-based components in the product. So this actually has silica in it, which is a water-based ceramic, but also has our solvent-based graphene coating resin in here. Um, so you can smell it. It actually smells really good, a good fruity smet, a scent, but you can get a little bit of that scent of the actual graphene coating in there. So it's water-based, but it does give you that benefit of, of having the the durability of the graphene resin. Um, like I said, durability at least six months. I think people are gonna find that it does uh, far exceed six months. I would venture to say six to 12 months is probably a really good buffer for the durability as a standalone. It's also, like I said, designed as a topper. So if you have a ceramic coating, a graphene based coating, wax sealant, whatever is, you know, as a standalone protection, this works excellent as a topper. It's gonna bond to those different formulations, those different chemistries give you really incredible slickness, add durability, rejuvenate the coating surface itself, um, and not be really a pain in the butt to use. This, uh, the usability of this, we, want, we designed it to be just like a detail spray. We wanted uh, spray on, wipe off, spray into applicator, apply, wipe off. We didn't want you to fuss with the durability, or for, fuss with the usability, to worry about streaking, to worry about high spots, all that stuff. So like I said, it really was a balancing act to get this right with so many different iterations to have all those attributes built into one product. So we found there's a lot of good products out there that do one or two things really well. You know, a lot of good products that are super durable, a lot of, a lot of products that are really easy to use, but not a product that is very durable, super easy to use, water-based, 
Um, smells great. Uh, doesn't leave any streaking or high spots behind. And it's formatted with both ceramic and graphene components. It was a challenge, which is why Honestly Resist is one of my personal favorite products because it packs all those things into one. And it's something you can go and use on pretty much any application with fantastic results. Even if you don't have any experience or any you know, knowledge of, of detailing products. Um, this is something that has, works great as a standalone protection. Apply to your car once every few months, give, gonna give you six, that six to 12 months of durability, um, or as a coating topper works excellent as well. Um, got some questions in regards to um, the, use of, the usability of this on different types of coatings. Um, you know, we obviously prefer for your stain in our line of chemistry, our coatings, because all the formulas are designed to work together. But this also will work with any brand of coating that's out there, ceramic or graphene, like we said before. So um, if you use another brand's coating, you can use this on top without any issue. Um, it's also can be used as a drying aid. It can be used on glass. It could be used on trim, uh, plastics, uh, pretty much any surface on the exterior vehicle. Uh, if you're getting any type of like streaking or high spotting, you're using too much product. A little bit does go a long way. You know, we have an eight ounce, a 16 ounce, and a gallon size. Your eight ounce bottle, for example, this would be enough to do at least four full size vehicles. A um, little bit goes a very long way, guys. So, um, anyways, just wanted to talk a little bit more about the product. Like I said, I can't iterate enough that this has been a, a kind of a brainchild of countless iterations uh, of hard work to make it right. And I'm really super stoked to see the feedback we have on the product so far. You guys seem to be loving it. And if you do have any other questions, please feel free to reach out. I'd love to answer them in regards to Resist or any other product that we have. And look forward to hearing from you and connecting with you guys in the future. So we do appreciate the support. It's your guys' support that enables us to really be kind of the obsessive compulsive uh, detailers in the background to make products like this and, and gives us the luxury to, to tweak and make them perfect before we launch them. So do appreciate your ongoing support and trust in a brand like us. So. Anyways, guys, I'll talk to you soon, and I appreciate you watching. See you later.